Hi and welcome to Rich Media Design Productions next video entitled how to make halftone screens for well just about anything and uh, for today's lesson we're going to kind of use it in uh, in reference to comic book effects so uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll get right to it so first we're going to do um, a uh, screen that we're going to save so let's get started there uh, open up Photoshop and we're going to create a new uh, working space and uh, we'll call it uh, eight, eight, eight by ten um, by seventy two and the, the reason for that is because we're going to be working with some images that I'm kind of fond of because uh, basically it's it's uh, faces that uh, nobody can come back and sue you for because they're, they're uh, make-believe faces or average faces uh, made with a computer. And I've used them all the time, so you're quite familiar, I'm sure, of what, what that is. Okay, um, we're going to start off with RGB. And notice that when this window came up, uh, it was in bitmap. That's because I was uh, preparing for this lesson and I was working in bitmap format so it's going to take the last thing you did and uh, bring that up um, and unless you catch it you you're gonna uh, do the same thing I'd, I'd done before and that's bring up this window that uh, working space that's not the uh, format that you want in this case I change it back to RGB for the purpose of showing you what we're gonna do here okay um, title this uh, screen um, halftone screen and we'll call it uh, test just so that we can identify it later okay and it'll come up here with a white background because if you notice over here we have a white background and black um, on top which means that we're going to you know uh, if we used a brush or if we used a, a pen tool or whatever uh, we're going to be using that color okay uh, I want to make a half tone so I'm going to choose a gradient tool and if I look up here on the top left hand corner you're going to notice the gradient tool is black to white which is perfect that's what I want um, if you click it it'd be good idea to do that because sometimes you might be uh, looking at uh, the wrong thing for example you could be looking at that one or think it's going to be this one but it's going to be that one and that's black to to uh, transparent we want black to white which is that one and so click it back and here we go starting from the bottom working up I press shift and all the way to the top there let go and we have black to white very good all right since we're going to be working with halftone screens uh it only works with a bitmap image so so right now we're in the uh, rgb mode we're going to change to grayscale in order to finally get to the bitmap you notice the bitmap is grayed out on top here we can't get to it that's because you have to go from rgb or let's say if, if you're in CMYK, you can go from CMYK to grayscale and then to bitmap. Okay, so here goes grayscale. And it'll ask you if you want to get uh, discard the color information. And you say yes, get discarded. Then we go to bitmap from grayscale. And there we have it, grayscale. Now, this window is going to come up and it's going to ask you how many uh, uh, pixels per inch do you do you want this uh, bitmap to, to be and uh, I'm, I'm gonna say 72 right now and uh, you're gonna create a custom pattern or no I'm sorry you're gonna create a halftone screen a custom pattern is when you want to bring up something that you've already done in this case we're gonna save a custom pattern okay so we're gonna say okay now it's gonna ask you for uh, the kind of halftone screen that uh, you want. For example, the, the frequency means the, m the amount of dots per inch that you're going to want on there. The 
angle is the degree that this these dots will be formed for example it'll go uh, 45 degree which is uh, you know straight up and down and across you know so it's horizontal and vertical straight across and horizontal straight across and down here it tells you about sh the shape that this uh, dot will be in in this case will be round uh, when it's checked and this is diamond ellipse line square and cross now these are all selectable so you can have a diamond shape half tone ellipse and so on okay in this case we're going to have a 30 let's say 25 say 25 to 45 and then say okay press okay and there's your half tone screen now if I go in closer which I'll show you in a minute here uh, zoom in and then I'm going to zoom in again and you'll see that we have a half tone screen but I'm not too happy with that so let's let's go back and undo the bitmap we'll have to come back and do the bitmap again let me uh, actual pixels bring it down and I'm going to go back and bitmap it again it's going to ask me 72 halftone screen yes that's what I want and press OK instead of 25 I'm going to go down to 20 okay and see what happens there around everything else is the same that's a little better you see what's happening there I'm going to press option so I can get the uh, notice I, I got the magnifying glass and it had a minus that means it was going to make it smaller I press the option key and press down my button and it just automatically does that this is on um, uh, G uh, CS5 okay so there you go now the next step is to save it so I'll go to edit define pattern and it'll ask me what I want to name it and I will keep the same name as the uh, beginning and press OK and now it just saved this halftone screen okay now we're gonna have fun with the halftone screen we're gonna open up a an image that I can, like I said I always seem to I like to use and I'm going to check the uh, image size just to see that we're working in the same uh, general area of uh, this uh, half tone screens and it's you know 72 resolution and it and it uh, comes to about the same uh, measurements here just about the same but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half I'm going to use uh, probably the girl this time and uh, not probably I'm going to use the girl this time okay I'm going to go ahead and crop it go for the cropping tool and I'm going to crop okay I'm going to say I'm sorry press here and then it's going to say crop yes don't crop yes no <laughs> anyway I crop and there we go now I'm going to go up to my, um, let's make this a little bit smaller. How about making this a little bit bigger? Uh, fit in the screen. Okay. Eh, it looks a little pixelated. Well, remember, this is a 72 uh, DPI, and we just blew it up considerably on the screen for you to look at. All right, this I'm going to... Um, go down here and get a copy I made a copy of it I'm sorry I made a layer not a copy delete layer yes okay I actually could have gotten I'm gonna try that again show you something here I can actually take it down to the trash tank trash can rather than go up here and 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 uh, delete the layer um, there's more way more ways to skin a cat with Photoshop and uh, you'll find out as you go along with the learning if you don't know already okay so here we have um, duplicate we'll duplicate it 
this one we're going to hide for the moment and um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click it and it's going to make it a layer instead of a, a back background so go ahead and create that and we're going to um, take off the uh, eyeball there uh, and, and make it you know invisible and then we're going to select this one and then I'm going to select the mask feature and you know the mask feature shows up here okay now if you look closely it has this little uh, thing going around it means that that part of it selected if you went over here and selected this one that means that is selected meaning this picture is selected but you want the mask to be selected so make sure that that's got this these kind of like little uh, second line around it to, to prove that it's been selected okay now I go ahead and I press shift and delete and it brings up a window here that says fill now if you leave your finger on shift and delete for too long it's going to erase what was here before and that's a percentage and it was a hundred percent that's exactly what we want back in there is a hundred percent okay uh, we want normal mode that's the blending mode that we want and we want pattern now here is the custom pattern and that's the, that's where you select the pattern that we just made earlier so we go down here and if you remember we called it test half tone test half tone screen test and we say okay and we'll see what happened to the to the person there she has been augmented to. now here's an interesting thing about it 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 doesn't work that well with color so what we're gonna do is we're gonna step back okay and then we're gonna work the, this image as a half tone uh, image it in itself and using the um, the uh, half tone screen that we made earlier okay so here's what we're gonna what we're gonna do we're gonna take the grayscale or RGB make it grayscale okay and say don't merge ah we could merge it doesn't really matter in this case okay I'll say merge okay so now we made it a half tone lost all the color then from there we're gonna go to bitmap flatten layer yes we can flatten it we're gonna say 72 DPI half tone screen but this time we'll say custom pattern because we're gonna go look for the pattern with that we just made now if we use what they give us um, you'll see what happens it'll it'll come up basically the same I think we made one exactly the same as that but and since we're here we're gonna go ahead and take it since they're the same but if you remember it gave us a choice to go custom or halftone screen okay so we're gonna say okay and there's our halftone screen now if we go back a bit Let's do it a little bit better. Now we now we can see the uh, actual pixels. Let's do actual pixels. Now that's actual size. So you can see that um, it did a really good job with uh, with what um, was there before. It was a, it was a half. It was a color to grayscale, and now a bitmap picture to um, to uh, uh, do the half toning on okay now what do we do with this we can have a lot of fun with it okay first of all I'm going to go back and grayscale it so we're re re reversing the procedure go back again to mode and take it back to RGB why because I'm going to bring back the female that we did earlier okay 
and I'm going to uh, double click this so I can make it a layer so that when I bring that female back in the color uh, image um, she'll be able to correspond or work with this black and white image so I'll go ahead and say open bring that back okay so oh okay I see what happened didn't come back because what did I what did I not do remember your computer is only smart as you are <laughs> or as dumb as you are in this case dumb anyway I uh, need to save this image so that when I want to pick up the color image I can pick it up because now you are telling the computer something that you really want to do okay so I just saved it all right now I can go and open the color image and I'm gonna go back here and crop it I'm gonna select all command C for copy then I'm gonna go back here and well I can go ahead and paste I don't have to make a new layer paste put her down here below the color one then I can um, say multiply sorry did it to the wrong one multiply to the top one and if you, as you can see the image is combined with the color the top image is combined with the color and I can maybe reduce it down and give it you know a basic a basic comic book effect anyway you have it for this lesson um, how to make um, half tone screens how to save it and how to use it to some degree but have fun with it you know you can do uh, you can experiment with these half tone screens and do all kinds of crazy things that'll be a lot of fun so until next time have fun with Photoshop